Let's say, find the latest news and uh, about productivity apps and respond with bullet points. And then from here, like we had, we could do 4.1, we could do 4.1 mini, 4.1 nano. It's all about pricing at that point and level of capability. So we can do the research and then the output with a different one. Hi, my name is Dimitri Panici, and I'm a content creator, agency owner, and AI enthusiast. You're listening to the AI Agents Podcast, brought to you by Jotform, and featuring our very own CEO and founder, Ida Kintank. This is the show where artificial intelligence meets innovation, productivity, and the tools shaping the future of work. Enjoy the show. Okay, so ChatGPT has been releasing models like crazy. And one of them that just got released is a new model that can drastically change how you interact with the API. So we're gonna dive into what exactly it is and how you can utilize it today. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, it is the ChatGPT 4.1 model that is actually only available in the API. That's right, you heard that correctly. It's only available in the API. It is only to my knowledge, the first time that this has been a thing or at least it's been like a recent release where this has been a thing. As you can see, basically, these are new models, 4.1, 4.1 mini, and 4.1 nano. And these models outperform 4.0 and 4.0 mini across the board with major gains in things like coding and instructions. They also have larger context windows supporting up to 1 million tokens of context and are better to use with that context with improved long text comprehension. So they feature a refreshed knowledge cutoff of June, 2024, which is nice too, because obviously there's like outdated data in the models themselves, which is kind of funny. As time goes on, they don't like get more info. They gotta get somehow that stuff to pipe in automatically. Oh wait, there's search features now with API and ChatGPT. So we're gonna dive into all this fun stuff, but as you can see, some of the improvements are that the coding score went up a decent amount. It says improved by 21.4% and it's even better than 4.5 in some cases. Instruction following, which is interesting, 4.1 score is 38.4%, which is a 10.5% increase over 4.0. By the way, some of these improvements aren't gonna be drastic. It's just a matter of the fact that they wanna release it and release after release after release, these things add up like iPhone improvements, okay? Long context for the long multimodal context understanding, 4.1 sets a new state-of-the-art result, scoring 72% on the long no subtitles category, a 6.7 improvement over 4.0. So we can see right here, this nano one is actually the most interesting to me. And the fact that small model performance is getting better because from a pricing standpoint, this makes everything more, I guess I would say available from a pricing standpoint. You'll see that coding has a significant increase here. We see these benchmarks and versus 4.0, I mean, this is just much better for verified accuracy. There's a ridiculous amount of charts and showcases from the product here. What's really cool to me is that it has improved front-end coding and is capable of creating web apps that are more functional and aesthetically pleasing. So it showcases the difference between the two that it made. And as you'll notice, this is the first time a small model, it gets closer to these higher models for evaluation accuracy, multi-challenge accuracy, and other items where the smaller model usually is lacking much more than the 01 high or 03, 04, all of those different ones. 4.1 even nano is doing pretty well here. And obviously the longer context window is something that we have to care about. And I like the fact that from a multimodal standpoint, it's improving too. As these smaller models improve, this is what's gonna be crazy, okay? If it's better than 4.0 and it's a nano model, you gotta think about it like this. Take a look at the pricing, right? This pricing versus this pricing is pretty significant, right? So for basic tasks, We have extremely cost-efficient models now. I've never seen a Nano before. This is the first time they've released it, right? So take a look at this. And the pricing of 4.0 was worse, and now we have a model that's essentially similar for a cheaper price. And 4.1 Mini, once again, an improvement, cheap price. It's crazy to me how cheap these are getting. I really wish we had these before, but hey, I can't complain. It just keeps getting better. And obviously, you'll, you'll see the pricing difference at a significant level as these things scale and will continue to decrease. So we can dive into the showcase of this real quick. I'm just gonna go into a scenario in make.com and I'm gonna go to OpenAI, and you'll see that there is an option to create a completion. And in this list now, you'll see there is, you'll have to find it specifically, there's still the 4.0 option in the API and you'll have 4.1 as an option. Now, something that is frustrating 
is in like a make.com situation, you don't actually have the ability to use like the 4.0 search, which essentially is able to utilize Google search, right? So that's one of the critiques I have, okay? If you look at 4.0, it's got some of these nice other options. I really want 4.1 to have the search capabilities. So if I go here to 4.1, I go here to assistant, I could add any text context like write a social media post on the latest news about productivity apps. And what I can do is have the module before it be something that's pretty cool. Just have it literally be find news. Let's find news. And we'll just have this say, write a social media post on the latest news about productivity apps. And we can say, yeah, find news on latest productivity apps updates. Change this to the search capability in 4.0, right? And then we could literally have it say, find the latest news and uh, about productivity apps and respond with bullet points. And then from here, like we had, we could do 4.1, we could do 4.1 mini, 4.1 nano, it's all about pricing at that point and level of capability. So we can do the research and then the output with a different one. I really like the idea of Nano. Reason being, fact of the matter is most of these tools, as they get better and you use the minimal pricing, it's gonna be much better for you to scale whatever tasks you're doing and have more employees or people utilizing these things. So overall, it's a pretty solid breakdown, right? We have some of these news here and then it takes it and turns it into a social post. And at the end of the day, these are all going to be pretty similar and just marginally improved. I don't really want to get into the nitty gritty of like how the text looks at this point, because it's just an improved 4 model at the end of the day for a solid price. I found the page, by the way, for detailed pricing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we got 4.1, right? Okay. So 4.1 is somehow cheaper, which is hilarious. Now it doesn't have the search capabilities in that text, but it's fine. Let's take a look at 4.0 Nano. So 4.1 Mini is more expensive than 4.0 Mini, okay? 4.1 Nano though is cheaper than 4.0 Mini. Interesting. Still the most expensive one for no reason is 4.5 and obviously we have 0.1 Pro that's really expensive, but for all intents and purposes, I do wanna call one thing out. If we go to the API here and we go to web search, you still can do web search. So you can utilize a custom API call by building this out yourself using the what's called ChatGPT create a completion here. What we can do is so we can do API call, right? And what this is gonna be is we're just gonna copy this header here. We're gonna do post. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put into this body. We're gonna take this V1 responses. We're just gonna leave it like this. We're gonna take this. We're gonna use this as an example, 4.1. And I just pressed enter and right clicked. And you'll see if we just do a little search for the response, you'll see the model ran. And if I type result out, and you'll see over here, we can find text under the content here, which obviously you can put into an iterator or something like that, but text, let's change the prompts to be all encompassing. So, okay, actually, what was the positive news from today? That's fine. Let's just have this be what showcase. I just wanna show you how you can use 4.1 or whatever it is. And you can just change the name of the model that was here right in the API, whether it be 4.1 nano, like all you have to do is find the model names. So if you go to models, you would find the model you want. So if you go to 4.1, you could search like 4.1 mini or nano, right? And then the name that you'd put in the API, as you can see, is this. So I could always change it to nano by going here and just changing it to the name of the a proper model. All right, and now if we press run. Okay, actually, it seems like 4.1 Nano is not supported. So I apologize for that mistake. And it's good that I called this out. So 4.1 is actually available with web search, but 4.1 Nano, not so much. Let's check about mini just to do a test. 4.1 mini seems to be available though. So 4.1 Nano not being available with search is kind of frustrating, but 4.1 mini, that's fine. It's an improvement. What was the positive news from today? Okay, so it says Scotland's rewilding efforts lead to significant increases in native woodlands, Denmark to ban phones to schools. Beavers legally released into the wild in England. Very cool. So overall, this is your 4.1. It's an improved, cheaper model that has much better handling of context and coding that can be utilized only in the API. That's why we dealt with it in the API, not in the front end. So if you want to try it out, make sure to go check out 
it at OpenAI. And if you like this episode, make sure to leave us a like, review the podcast, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.